welcome to this video and uh, where you know in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can actually use TensorFlow GPU version because you have a GPU but you're not able to train your models with uh, GPU if that's what happened to you well here we are uh, trying to get the models running on a GPU matter of fact when I started training my uh, models I started looking at my uh, GPU and for some reason uh, my GPU was not was never getting used and then I searched if if my uh, model was using GPU and it turns out that my model was not using GPU the way I know that is I can I could do this from tensorflow let me let me pull up my terminal here and if I type Python and uh, let me just paste it well let's you know what let's get rid of this one I don't think it's going to work yes okay cool you know what guys for the sake of this video I uninstalled tensorflow uh, but uh, what you could, guys could do is basically you could go inside and check if uh, if it shows GPU after you uh, do this line print device lib underscore list local devices if you do this and it shows CPU and GPU that means your model is ready uh, to be used by GPU but there are certain things that we are going to cover and uh, you should make sure that all of those uh, parameters are satisfied otherwise your model will not be trained by GPU well the first things uh, let's let's get this thing first okay first things first you should have an Nvidia GPU at least as far as I know right now uh, that's what is happening uh, tensorflow GPU let's go to tensorflow GPU installation okay let's get to the Windows part Linux guys can do the same uh, I'm talking with respect to Linux so that's I'm sorry Windows that's what I'm trying to do right now okay now my advice to you guys is always uh, do it with pip don't do it with Conda's uh, version of tensorflow because I had some issues so my recommendation is do it with pip pip install tensorflow GPU version or you could do this one as well so pip install ignore installed upgrade tensorflow GPU okay now let's go here and uh, you know what let me control D it okay so do this pip installed ignore installed upgrade tensorflow GPU it's going to take some time um, before you know while that is happening in background I want us to go to uh, Nvidia CUDA driver tensorflow so you go in there and uh, So you just have to ins download uh, NVIDIA CUDA. Let's, you know what? Let's let's. Uh, I I found a link yesterday somewhere. Yes. Ah. Uh, so here we go. You have to first. You have to go to NVIDIA's uh, location right here. Requirements. If you're installing GPU mechanisms described, that's fine. I need you to give me a link in Nvidia's documentation. Okay, let's 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 go to uh, installing. Uh, yes, so we here's where we have to go. developer.nvidia.com and uh, if you sign up, you'll be able to download CUDA and uh, I've I've actually uh, downloaded the setup and that setup is right here, CUDA 9.0. And um, yeah, so so I I don't think I'll be ins installing it in the in the background because I already have it installed. But that that is something that you guys can figure out. I know for sure if you just go to CUDA uh, CUDA's link, where you can actually yes. So here is where you have to go. This is exactly the spot. Developer.nvidia.com forward slash CUDA downloads and then choose whichever OS you have. And I have Windows 10. And uh, just download the EXE version and just download the base installer. And again, it's going to download the same thing that I already have, which 
is not what I want so I am just wait it seems like it is an updated version well I don't want to just mess around but however you guys can download and uh, you guys can actually install it what is more important is this part you have to pay attention to CUDA 64 underscore NDLL this is what is most important that you know I I had to scratch my head 24 24 for 25 minutes uh, to check out what was happening and uh, the, the the solution I'm making it easy for you guys is you have to download Kudas uh, uh, NNDLL and the way you get that is you just have to go to uh, CUDA I think it is CUDA yeah let's you know what let's go here and uh, this is not what I saw yesterday I think what I saw was uh, NVIDIA developer.nvidia.com forward slash CUDA NN I believe whoops let's let me just make it quick um, yes so this is where you get it okay so you have to be downloading CUDA uh, CUDNN that is where your DLL is present okay make so let me just recap what is going on you first download CUDA you install it and once you install it you also parallelly um, do this pip install ignore installed upgrade tensorflow GPU now that you would have a GPU version of tensorflow whoops I'm sorry about that you have a tensorflow uh, GPU version of tensorflow and uh, all you have to do is right now go to uh, developer.nvidia.com forward slash CUDNN once you do that click on download and they need you to sign up and the reason I, I like I, I think what they're trying to do is they want to see what I mean I don't know what's their total intent but what I feel is they want to check out why you're using uh, cudnn.dll file so they want to keep a track of what people are doing however so you have to sign up there is no other way out uh, well extra extra work I, I, I agree with you it's painful but you got to do it once you do it you'll be given a chance to download the the zip file cuda uh, and then zip file and that right there is here for me it is CUDA it is right over here okay CUDA it contains three folders bin include lib let me just go back quickly into my C drive quick and I have it here in I, I think it is in my program files and uh, I think where I have to go is uh, NVIDIA yes you have to go inside NVIDIA G GPU computing toolkit only if you have installed CUDA in the first place you would get this okay then you have go into CUDA 9.0 now here's the deal okay now do you see the bin folder here whoops let's let me okay so do you see uh, do you see the bin folder here if you see the bin folder right there go inside the bin folder and uh, now go back to the bin folder inside your RAR file and then just drag and drop that and I've already done that so if you take a look at that thing right there it is CUDNN so this is this file CUDNN 64 underscore 7 so that is the file that you should you should actually just paste it again go back to uh, include in your RAR file and again go inside include here the same process drag and drop okay once you drag and drop you would be able to just copy paste it it would be copy pasted and then LIB go into LIB the same go into 64 64 I mean depends on which operating system bit you have I think it's 64 okay uh, now you do cudnn.lib you get cudnn.lib just copy paste all those files and now you're all set now the way we check it out is going back here uh, the way we check it out is going back here and uh, trying to do the same thing that we did a few minutes before python import device lib let us see what it says 
Okay, so we have that thing imported and let us try to print our devices. Wada, you see that? You see the cool thing? It shows first as CPU, the second one as GPU. So this is how you install CUDA to ensure that your models are getting trained on GPU, not on CPU. All right, so uh, the link to the command is, is, is right over here. All you do is, is go and type, how do I check? So this is the uh, thing you should type. Check if GPU is, use, uh, GPU is using, uh, oops, if, if Keras is using a GPU version of TensorFlow. All, so if you go there, you find uh, this and uh, you'll be able to know if, if you're ready and uh, your model is getting trained on your GPU. And right now I have a 1070. So that's why we have the, the, the name of the graphic processing unit. So that's, that's uh, the basic idea of how you can actually uh, make sure that your model is getting trained. Real quick recap, if you want to stay, you can stay, otherwise you can leave. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share. All right, so real fast recap. First, download CUDA, okay? Next, uh, install the GPU version of TensorFlow. How you do it by uh, just this command and uh, the command is right here. Pip install, ignore, install, upgrade TensorFlow GPU, okay? If you're using Conda, otherwise you use just pip install upgrade TensorFlow GPU, that's it. Okay, next, what, do you, what you're supposed to do is um, go, to, go to NVIDIA, developer.nvidia. What was that thing? Yeah, so developer.nvidia.com forward slash CUDNN and then download it. Uh, before downloading, you have to sign up. There is no way out. I wish I could redistribute the files, but um, I don't want to get into any legal troubles. So I'm not gonna do that, but you can actually go sign up and get it for free. And then once you get it, all you have to do is copy paste um, the files in their appropriate positions and uh, that should be it. All right, so that um, is going to be present in program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA uh, 9.064. And that should be it guys. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share. Thank you.